Christ says, I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. And what? And are not. And are what? And are not. And what are they? But are the synagogue of Satan. He's telling you that red devils right now are inhabiting the land of Jerusalem. Right. He's telling you that Arabs now, Ishmaelites, are inhabiting Jerusalem. They are not the Jews. You understand that? We right. are the Jews. They hate that the prophets are back teaching our people the truth. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. That is who we are. You know why men, black men kill each other? Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. We are Israelites on the side of the Jews. Let's go to Hebrews uh, 7 and 14. Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. Because they don't see each other as Jesus How you doing, bro? What's your name? Presley. Presley. How you doing, bro? What's up, sir? How you doing, man? So you mentioned that the Jews only believed in the Torah, right? So let me ask you a question. Was Christ a Jew? You don't know if Christ was a Jew? Christ was a Jew. What about y'all? Was Christ a Jew? Jesus Christ? That's what they say. That's what they say? Yes. Give me that in Hebrews. You know? That's what they say. What you'll find out is Jesus Christ was a Jew, right? And Jesus Christ read, did not just read out of the Torah, the first five books of Moses. Stay right here, soldier. Stay right here. He read out of the prophets as well, as well as the Psalms. Read that. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. Read it out. But it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. It says, it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Right? So that means that Christ, when he, if he sprang out of Judah, Judah, Jew is short for Judah. So that means Christ was a Jew. Judaism is a is a, um, a religion. To be a Jew is actually your nationality, your heritage. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's where Christ was from. They like to intermix religion with our real heritage and nationality, and that's where the confusion comes from with our people. We like to associate being a Jew with Christianity. You understand that? We, this is not a religion. This is our heritage. This is our nationality here. Jesus Christ was a Jew, and he dealt with more than just the Torah. Get Matthew 5. He dealt with more than just the Torah. That whole Old Testament is where Christ taught from. And he taught for our learning. Read that. Matthew 5, verse 17. Think not. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Go ahead. No. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. From Jesus Christ, he did not come to destroy the law. We get the law from the Torah. And a lot of times in Christianity, they tell us that the laws are done away with. We are not supposed to keep God's laws. That is false. Because God's law says you're not supposed to kill. God's law says you're not supposed to steal. God's law says you're not supposed to commit adultery. You think the Most High God is good with us living those type of lifestyles? Bring it out. So how in the world is God's laws done away with? It's Jeez. not done away with. We're programmed to keep us in a degenerate state. And to keep us as a base people. God's laws is what empowers us as so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. And God's laws is what's going to bring us back to our true heritage. Read. Right. Or the prophets. Or the what? Or the prophets. Now, the Torah is the law. What are the prophets then? What books are the prophets written in? What was Isaiah? What was Isaiah? He was a prophet, right? What about Jeremiah? He was a prophet, right? What about Ezekiel? He was a prophet. Read from the top again. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. So Christ didn't come to destroy the law, read. Or the prophets. Or the prophets. So Christ dealt with the entire Old Testament. Read. I am not come to destroy. He didn't do away with the Old Testament at all. Christianity says you can't follow the Old Testament. It's a barbaric reading. They're killing people. It has rape and it has all those different things. Guess what? Is that not happening to our people today? Right no. out. So, what happened? Jesus read from the Psalms. Christ did read from the Psalms. Give me that. Where it says, um, ye are God. Yes. Give me that real quick. Did Christ read from the Psalms? Right? right. Read. Verse 33. The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work, we stone thee not, mm -hmm. but for blasphemy. 
and because that thou being a man makest thyself God. Go ahead. Now this was the, the premise that, that Christ said he making himself God. Read. Jesus answered them. Watch what Jesus Christ said and I'm going to show you where that came from. Read. Is it not written in your law? It says is it not written in your law? So guess what else is not just the book of the law. The Torah is not just the only book of the law. Right, the right. entire Bible is considered the book of the law. Yes, it says, right. Read it again. Is it not written in your law? Read. I said, ye are God. It says, is it not written in your law? I said, ye are God. So where did that come from? Where did he read that from? Get that in Psalms 82. You asked if Christ taught from the Psalms, right? Let's see what he said. If Christ called the book of Psalms a law, and King David was a prophet that wrote most of the songs. Right. Read. Psalm chapter 82 verse 6. Remember yep. what Christ said now. Is it not written in your law I have said ye are God? So called black men, Hispanic men, and Native American men. You are God's walking on this earth here. The problem is you don't know it. And you don't even consider that who you are. That's why you are walking as base men now today. Right. Underneath every single nation. We're even underneath our women today. You know? We have no power over our community today. Right. If a black man goes to court for custody of his children, guess who gets that child? Yes, that you know? man is not even considered to be a father. Right. He's not considered to be a man. Right. Read. I have said, ye are God. Christ just read that. He said, is that not written in your law? But that's in the book of Psalms. Read. And all of you are children of the Most High. All of the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans are children of the Most High God. Read. That's right. But it says, but though. Read. Ye shall die like men. We all are going to die like common men on this earth. Read. And fall like one of the princes. And fall like one of the other nations. One of the princes. Right? But we weren't meant to be princes. We were meant to be kings and gods, rulers on this earth here. That's, That's right. Islam, I'm going to show you where Islam came in and why we follow that today. Give me Deuteronomy 28. This is how we fall like one of the princes, right? Because Islam is not our religion. Islam is an Arab religion. And that was beaten into us during the sub-Saharan slave trade. Right. You understand that? Give me Deuteronomy 28. He said, where does Islam come in? Read. Well, the Arabs are the tribe too, right? I want verse 15. Well, the Arabs are the tribe too. Huh? The Arabs, are the, tribe. the Arabs are their own tribe. You understand that? They are, they are from... They're the Ishmaelites today, right. but they're not one of the chosen tribes. They're not God's chosen people. Right. They are the Ishmaelites today. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Go ahead. Out. But it shall come to pass, and thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So the Most High God is talking to the Israelites, and he's saying, through Moses, he's saying, it shall come to pass if you do not listen to the voice of the Lord thy God. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. And his statue, which I command thee this day. Because we made a covenant with the Most High. The Most High said, I delivered you from Egypt as long as you keep my laws, statutes, and commandments that I gave you for inheritance. As long as you start growing your beard. As long as you continue to wear your fringes. As long as you stop eating shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster. And stop committing fornication. Get married before sex. As long as you start doing some of those, keep the Sabbath day holy. Right. Today is the Most High Sabbath. As long as you do those things, he's going to set you on high. Right. But he said this, if we do not keep what's going to happen, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Because all these curses are going to come upon us and overtake us because we refuse to keep his law. Now you ask where Islam comes into play. Read verse 64. This is one of the curses the Most High God said is going to happen. Read. Verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. That's part of our captivity. The Most High God has scattered us unto all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. That's part of your transatlantic slave trade. As well as the other slave trade. We had the sub-Saharan slave trade which the Ishmaelites had us in and forced and beat Islam into us. Where's that at? Right here. Right here. Check the sign out right here, bro. Check it out. The sub-Saharan slave trade, these are all the people that had something to do with our captivity. You had your so-called white man, which we like to blame for everything on the planet Earth. Right? Instead of blaming ourselves, but who you got right here? You have your Nilotic Africans. Because they like to tell us that Africans sold Africans into slavery. That didn't happen. Africans, Nilotic Africans, sold Israelites, that's your Bantu Africans, into slavery. 
There was tribal warfare going on, and we lost that war because we went against God. But yes, dark skinned people sold dark skinned people to the so called white man and the Arab and the Chinese men. Right. Because they knew who we were, and they knew that we were not them. Right. And they know that we're not them to this day. You ain't got no connection with no African. Bring it out. And we all know that. Read again. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Go ahead. From the one end of the earth, even unto the other. Go ahead. And there thou shalt serve, thou shalt serve other gods. So he says, by us being turned into slavery, when we get over to whatever land of our captivity, North, Central, South America, Europe, Asia, all those different places, we're going to serve other gods. That's right. right. You know why we, we know that we're serving other gods? We said it early. The Chinese man God looks just like the Chinese man. Right. right. The Arab man's God, Allah, looks just like him when you see a statue. Right. The so-called African man's God looks just like him. Right. The so-called white man's God looks just like him. Yo, Jesus Christ sees him more shit. What God does the so-called black man serve though? Bring it out. What does your God look like? Your God looks just like these other nations, God. You go into church and you serve a God that looks just like the people that put you on slave ships? Right. The same people that oppress you? Right. Are you serious, black man? Does that make any kind of sense? Is any of that a sin? All of this is a sin. Why? Because today is the most high God's Sabbath day. Right. Today is God's Sabbath day. I'm going to let the soldier bring it out in a second. Well, let's deal with this um, real quick. Read. And then thou shalt serve other gods. Go ahead. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Because we didn't know Islam. Islam is one of the newest religions on the planet Earth. That was like six, seven, seven hundred years after Christ. Read. Even wood. That wood is your Christianity. So guess what? Serving Christianity, walking into the Christian church, dealing with Caesar Borgia, that so-called white man, having a cross around your neck that your Lord and Savior was tortured, crucified, brutalized, murdered on, but we represent that cross to the fullest, like ignorant slaves, like ignorant Negroes. Because we're not Negroes, we're Israelites according to the Bible. But that wood is going into Christianity. Read and what else? And stone. And what? And stone. What is that stone? You ask for Islam, right? Where do they go to a method of dealing with Islam? What stone do they worship in Islam? The Kaaba, right? And if you're a true Muslim, you'll make a pilgrimage to Mecca like once a year to go around and pay homage to that stone and pay God. homage to your God. Okay. Even wood and stone. Give me Jeremiah 2 or 3. Which one is it? The Arabian and the wilderness. Jeremiah 3. Jeremiah 3. 3, 3 so we got to understand that's not our God. Islam has nothing to do with the black man. Right. Islam and Christianity are two of the most oppressive and bloodiest religions on the planet Earth that has to do with our people. Right. Our people don't want to hear that. We flock to the Christian church like ignorant brothers and sisters. Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Amelia is the twelve. Those same Christians were the ones that did this to your poor parents. Was the ones that did this right here. They burn you and tell you, hey, either you serve Christianity, you serve a God that looks like your oppressors and your slave masters, or you're going to die, Native American, Negro. You're going to die if you don't serve the cross. The same thing that Arabs did to our brothers. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 2. Read. Look up thine eyes unto the high places and see what thou hast not been lying with. So the Most High God is asking a question to the Israelites, the so-called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, asking you, how many gods are we serving as a people? We have a household, in one household, a father could be an Israelite, right out here with us, 
but the mother's a Baptist Christian clapping a tambourine in the Christian church, and the son is a Muslim because he's conscious and wants to think he knows something, then you got something that don't even believe in God all in one household. That's confusion. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.